word alcohol is said to be derived from the Arabic al kuhul which refers to a body-eating spirit, and is the source of the modern word ghoul. Perhaps this is why alcoholic drinks are called spirits, and informally, booze. And we all know the malefic effects of drinking, of consuming alcohol, which is known as the consumption, which is the consumption of one's body and the degeneration and the degradation of one's own body. And of course, we all, anyone who has lived with alcoholism or an alcoholic knows the effects of alcohol and how it affects the human consciousness and the human psyche. Literally, they become blackout drunk and they essentially figuratively and allegorically seem to become possessed by some sort of consumptive spirit from consuming this alcohol. And of course it literally eats the body and it degenerates the cells and destroys the brain cells, destroys the human mind. And it literally opens one up to external influences, i.e. the substance itself. The effects of consuming alcohol on the human body, literally, well, alcohol is fermentation. And fermentation in the human body opens up creates an environment ideal for parasites to come in and literally to consume that fermentation in order to break down those acids that are formed through the fermentation process. So the consumption of alcohol literally leads to the consumption of your physical body as well as the consumption of the human spirit. It is literally the death of the human spirit, the human soul. Now when we look at alcohol itself, alcohol we refer to it as as poison, as in pick your poison, what's your poison, what'll it be, as if it's some kind of joke, as if it's not being, not to be taken literally, which it literally is poison, and when we look at the actual branding of some of the alcohol out there that's being marketed by these Illuminati corporations, such as, you know, here we have this brand of wine called Poison Zinfandel, and their slogan, the wine to die for, must be owned by hardcore, hardcore Satanists. One must know that the wine industry is procured by some of the most elite Satanists, such as the Rothschild dynasty. One need only study the labels and the symbolism to have that fact slap you in the face, let alone to research the social connections, not to mention the disgraceful effects of alcohol on the human being. This shit will literally kill you, especially with these these brandings and these labels with the words such as poison labeled right on the bottle itself engraved into the bottle alcohol has further roots in the constellation of perseus and the star known as algol or alcohol which comes from arabic ra'az algu meaning the demon's head algul literally signifies a mischief maker and the name still appears in the modern word ghoul. It, every 68 hours and 49 minutes, this demon star blinks for roughly eight hours as the dimmer star of the pair passes between the brighter star and the earth. The Gorgon's head, a ghastly sight, deformed and dreadful, and a sign of woe. The Hebrews knew Algol as Rosh Hashatan, Satan's head, but also as Lilith, Adam's legendary first wife the nocturnal vampire from the lower world that reappeared in the demonology of the Middle Ages as the witch Lilis. Miriam Tremens is a severe form of alcohol withdrawal. It involves sudden and severe mental or nervous system changes. Delirium Tremens can occur when you stop drinking alcohol after a period of heavy drinking, especially if you do not eat enough food. It's most common in people who have a history of alcohol withdrawal it is especially common in those who drink four to five pints of wine, seven to eight pints of beer, or one pint of hard alcohol every day for several months. Delirium tremens also commonly affects people who have used alcohol for more than 10 years. Symptoms most often occur within 48 to 96 hours after the last drink, but they can occur seven to 10 days after the last drink. Symptoms may get worse quickly and can include body tremors, changes in mental function, agitation, irritability, confusion, disorientation, decreased attention span, deep sleep that lasts for a day or longer, delirium, 
excitement, fear, hallucinations, seeing or feeling things that are not really there, increased activity, quick mood changes, restlessness, excitement, sensitivity to light, sound, and touch, stupor, sleepiness, fatigue. Seizures may occur without other symptoms of delirium tremens. Most common in the first 12 to 48 hours after the last drink. Most common in people with past complications from alcohol withdrawal. Symptoms of alcohol withdrawal including anxiety, depression, fatigue, headache, insomnia, difficulty falling and staying asleep, irritability and excitability, loss of appetite, nausea, vomiting, nervousness, jumpiness, pale skin, palpitations, sensation of feeling the heartbeat, rapid emotional changes, shakiness, sweating, especially on the palms of the hands or the face. Other symptoms that may occur, chest pain, fever, stomach pain. Delirium tremens is a medical emergency. The healthcare provider will perform a physical exam. Signs may include heavy sweating, increased startle reflex, irregular heartbeat, problems with eye muscle movement, rapid heart rate, rapid muscle tremors. Long-term and preventative treatment should begin after the patient recovers from, from delirium tremens symptoms. This may involve a drying out period in which no alcohol is allowed. Total and lifelong avoidance of alcohol. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, this is a little different than what I usually have on here, but um, this nation has a real problem, and it's not even just with booze. Uh, it's drugs of all kind. It's not just illegal drugs. We have people that are legal drug addicts, all the same, that take antipsychotics or pain drugs. and It's, it's really, really sad thinking about most of the nation really is dope heads. I mean, America is not a Christian nation. It's a nation of dope fiends, selfish people, murderers, fornicators, and sodomites, and idolaters, devil worshippers. I mean, I can just go on. Um, but I'm not going to. Um, so if you if you are struggling with alcohol or any other drug problem. Please contact me. I'd be more than happy to help you the best I can, be your friend any way I could to try to help you. Even if it was just praying for you, I'd be more than happy to do it. If you want to comment and let me know how long you've been sober, that would be awesome. Um, I'll go ahead and say this. Uh, the last time I drank alcohol was March 18th of 2010. Uh, just shortly before my uh, oldest child that's living was born. And the only reason I actually quit, basically I just thought about my little girl coming in this world and having a loser drunk dad. And I didn't want to be that guy. But I do give all glory for everything that God brought me through and for what God put in my life to help me put down the booze and the drugs. I've thank God that I didn't actually have any withdrawal problems it was more like just a decision than anything but I decided to put down the booze so I could be a good dad to my children uh, it's really humbling I know how hard it is for people um, I'm not going to say that alcohol is the only problem I've ever had had in my life but um, and also quit doing other drugs as well um, and also used to be a really horrible pain pill addict uh, back when I drank. I actually had quit those um, sometime before I stopped drinking. I'm not really sure exactly when that was. But um, I don't miss those things. And when I had quit those things, I was just thinking to myself, I'll quit until my daughter moves out and then I'll go on my own way. But... After about a year or so and reading the Bible and realizing what alcohol did to me, I decided that I didn't want to ever drink it again, and I haven't. Um, I wish it was that simple for other people. Um, you know, my driving force was is that I had somebody else to care about in life other than myself, and that caused me to grow up a little bit.
Um, that's also what led me to the Bible as well was the fact that I've got a child that I didn't want lost in this world and and deceived. I knew that it was going to come to an end with the way things are going. And I picked up the Bible because I cared about my, my daughter. And I don't know how you uh, quit any other addictions unless you really care about somebody else. And you have to actually be ready to quit too. But I'm here to tell you that you can do it. It's better if you get born again and the Lord help you through it than anything. But if you need any help, I'll be more than happy to provide emotional support. I'll even talk to you on the phone. Just message me on here and we'll go from there. Thanks so much again for your time, guys. I love y'all. And as always, praise the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May he richly bless you and your family. You take care. I love y'all.